Hello, welcome to a new video where we are going to go on studying combined operations with integer numbers. We are in unit 3 yet. Here we are going to learn how to solve this type of operation where you are uh, um, you have to solve addition, subtraction, multiplications, powers, divisions, okay? To do this, you have to follow, of course, the hierarchy of operations, bitmaps, and you have to know the rule of signs. I recommend to watch first the video uh, that you can find in the blog or in my channel that explains how to do the multiplication and divisions with integer numbers, how to add and subtract integer numbers, where you are going to learn simple operations with additions and subtractions. And the first part of this video that explains how to do combined operations but some, uh, with integer numbers, but um, easier operations, okay? Easier combined operations than this. Maybe it can be considered the first part of this video. I also recommend you to revise the rule of signs and of course the hierarchy of operations. But anyway, let's go and solve the operations. Now, in this moment, you can stop the video if you think that you can solve it and solve these three examples. These three examples, solve it and then check it. Let's do it. So, what do we find? What we can find here? We can find that uh, there are some products. Okay, some product here. Addition, subtractions, and these brackets. These brackets are uh, used to isolate the negative number. Okay. So it is not a real bracket. We can apply it without solving this. Okay, let's do it. So we say 55. And now we have to solve this product, okay? Because we have to start by solving the products. Let's solve the product. We say negative times negative positive 40. And the other one is negative times positive negative minus 8. Okay, here we have a positive, negative, and positive. We multiply. When we multiply all of this, we get negative 8. Now, as always, we add together positive numbers, 55 plus 40, minus 8. And the solution is positive 87. Check it with your solution. Let's do the, the next. Now we say always equals 4. What do we have here? Look, we have this bracket, this square bracket, that is the one you have to solve first, and this rounded bracket that you have to solve also. So let's solve these two brackets. So we say minus, and then we have to solve this bracket, plus, minus one, and then we have to solve this bracket. Let's solve it. This one, this one is quite easy because you have to do the multiplication first and then the addition. So it is minus six plus nine. What about the other one? In the other one, you have the negative 27, of course, and now a division, a division that is minus 15 divided by five, which is negative So, 
Let's go. 4 minus, and now we solve what is inside the bracket. Minus 27 minus 3 is, of course, negative 30. Now here, look at, look at something here. It seems that there is no operation here. When it seems not to have any operation, not to be any other operation, you know that this is a product. Okay, when there is no symbol of operations, it's because it is a product. So we multiply, we have to multiply. First, solve the bracket, which is positive 3, right? So we can apply also here the rule of science, okay? Which is plus 3. And then this, this to multiply. Negative 1 by positive 3, which is negative 3. Next step, add together positive 24 and negative. Only 1, only 3, sorry. And then the solution is 32. Next, equals negative 11 minus, and pay attention to the bracket. We have a very big square bracket that is what we are going to solve. But third, but inside this square bracket, we have this rounded bracket. So, what we have to do is to copy the square bracket and solve what is inside this rounded bracket, right? At the same time, we could solve this, but we are going to leave it for next step, okay? So, you solve the bracket, you, said you have minus 3 plus 4 minus 1 which is the same that 4 minus 4, if you add together positive and negative numbers. Minus 11, minus, this is 0, right? 0 squared is 0. Minus 11, plus, and then minus 3 to the power of 4. Okay, you know, you have to revise the powers if you don't know it, that when you have negative base and even exponent, the solution is positive. Then this is equal to positive 81. So this is 81. So finally, we solve this square bracket that is positive 70, right? And the solution is minus 11 minus 70 equals negative 81. So with this, I have finished this long video. Hope it was helpful for you. See you in next videos. Thank you for watching.